हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज एडप्टेशन इन एनिमल्स इन साइंस क्लास फोर लेसन थर्ड टुडे वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ दिस लेसन एडप्टेशन इन एनिमल्स ना लेट्स स्टार्ट देयर आर सेवरल काइंड ऑफ एनिमल्स अराउंड अस Identify and write which of these animals can fly in air, live on land, and can swim in water. First, lion, land, pigeon, air, turtle, water, deer, land, owl, air, whale, water, camel, land, fish, water, crow, air. state true or false first animals in desert are adapted to conserve water in their body true b the surrounding in which an animal lives in called its habitat true c a spider monkey is a desert animal false d fish can live both on land and in water false e birds have hollow bones that help them to fly true fill in the blanks a animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores b tapworm is an example of parasites c a porcupine has sharp spines on its body d a cattle fish has an ink sac on its body e hinds have very strong jaws to crush bones A name the categories of the animals that the following belong to first tiger and horse terrestrial second spider monkey and tree lizard are boreal third toad and salamander amphibians four whale and shark aquatic five giant panda and tiger endangered B fill in the blanks by using the words given in the box First Arctic terns is a mag migratory bird second salamander is an amphibian third giant panda feeds on bamboo shoots four the wings of bats are made of thin layer of skin five scavengers are those animals that eat dead animals c give an example of an animals that are adapted to the following situations first hop and run very fast kangaroos second survive on less food and water camel third survive in extremely cold places polar bear four climb quickly on the trees monkey five change color according to the surroundings camel on d answer the following question in brief Answer the following question in brief. First question: How do amphibians breathe underwater? Answer: Amphibians breathe through their in water. 
सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वाट इज द एडवेंचेज एडवेंटेज ऑफ मैस्कुलर लिम्स इन आर्बोरियल एनिमल्स आंसर इज मैस्कुलर लिम्स आर्बोरियल हेल्प इन क्लाइंबिंग ट्री थर्ड वाट इज ए प्रिहेंसिल टेल हाउ डज इट हेल्प द आर्बोरियल एनिमल्स आंसर द टेल विच हेल्प टू होल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड प्रिहेंसिल दिस टेल हेल्प इन होल्डिंग ब्रांचेस वाइल स्विंगिंग ट्री टू ट्री फोर क्वेश्चन गिव टू डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स एंड एम्बीबियंस aquatic amphibians first animal that live in water and called aquatic animals first animal that can live both on land and water are amphibians example crab turtle dusk fish example toads salamanders frog third they breathe from gills in water third they breathe through this skin in water five define the flowing first migration this movement of animals from one places to another for feeding or breeding in called migration comma flick the ability of an animals to blend with their surroundings c activation rustic state of some animals to avoid hot and dry conditions six how do the flowing animals protect themselves from their enemies a porcupine a porcupine has sharp spines on its body other animals do not attack it due to their fear of injury injuring itself puffer fish a puffer fish inflates the body to twist its size when faced with danger therefore it is also known as the balloon fish it then look like a spherical ball with spines all over which help it to stay safe from the predators c stick insect it looks like a twig or a leaf of a plant this camera flag help them to save from their predators d camelon it it changes its color to blend with the surroundings e answer the following question in detail first what changes will a polar bear need to make it its body to be able to live in a desert answer it should lose the dense layer of fur and also the blubber because of the hot weather condition in deserts it should conserve water in its body it should survive on less food and water second what is the plover how it is helpful for the animals answer a thick layer of fat under the skin of some animals is known as plover it keeps the body warm in addition it also serves as a source of energy during winter three differentiate between carnivorous and herbivorous animals based on their teeth and feeding habits carnivorous herbivorous first they eat the flesh of other animals they eat only plant sharp front of teeth 
second sharp teeth for tearing at the flesh of prey second flat and strong grinding at the back of the mouth flat and strong grinding at the back of the mouth fourth question why do elephants live in large communi communities answer is they live in large communities to help each other to find food depend themselves from enemies and looks after their young ones five question describe any three different ways in which animals protect themselves from external hot and dry conditions answer they protect by first conserve water in their body second survive on less food and water third thick layer of skin and scanty hair four active only during dawn and dusk five sleep in den care of bureau during day six activation six question six different eight between activation and hab hibernation first activation hibernation first resting state of some animals to avoid hot and dry conditions first resting state of some animals to avoid external cold example crocodile and lungfish second example snakes and lizard seven how can we prevent animals from becoming extinct answer we should be careful that our activities do not harm animals their homes wildlife sanctuaries and national parks should be open to provide safe habitat to animals we should not cut plants for our use eight question differentiate between endangered and extinct animals give three example of each endangered animals extinct animals first animals that are in danger to become extinct animals that have disappeared from earth example passenger pigeon dodo pinta island tortoise example giant panda snow leopard tiger nine question a squirrel and a sparrow both live in on trees do they belong to the some group of animals according to their habitat support your answer with a suitable explanation answer is squirrel is a arboreal animals and sparrow is a aerial animals arboreal animals spend most of their times on trees but animals that fly are called aerial animals many animals may have some habitat but may be they belong to the different group of animals okay i have done all question of this lesson if you like my videos please like share and subscribe please please support me okay allah hafiz bye